I shall follow your orders. Momentum going.
victory feast after the mission, right? Anton, head of Bellabog Industries construction team at your service. I shall follow your orders. Is it work time? Is food included? It's our turn, bro!
Check out the menu. You name it, I make it. Well, seems like my noodles were just what you needed. can make life's sweetness all the more satisfying.
Whenever you feel lost, you can always come back here for a cup of coffee. I'm at your disposal. Standing by. Need something? My mm -hmm. is it? Oh, so Kaku, ready! Come on, let's get to work. Starlight. Good day, Proxy. I have it's our is it ready for combat. Nothing to fear. Oh, so sleepy. Mm -hmm. So. <gasps> Starlight, it's time to shine! I have to- Come on, let's get to work! It's our turn, bro! St huh? Oh, too good day- I have- uh, uh, I'm sorry! He's standing by- Need some- Ready for- I shall- Don't look- I'm at your disposal. Your wish is my command. Ready for- So, Kaku, ready!
done well, Corey. Ready for combat. Standing by.
released after the mission. Ready for combat. Is it work time? Is food included? Standing by. Nekomata, I know you're anxious, but before we try to rescue the others, we have to talk. Uh, what's going on? Why the sudden change in tone? The hair on my ears is standing up. Nekomata, this is important, so we want you to be honest. What kind of trouble did you and the cunning hairs get yourselves into exactly? Didn't the news say the train was transporting explosives? Why would it be carrying a bunch of fake pubsec officers? And you reacted so quickly to the enemy. Not like something you would expect from someone in shock. Nekomata, if you're hiding anything, please, just tell us. We're reasonable people. You mean it? You... you'll really hear me out. If you want faith and support, you'd better answer my sister truthfully. And tell us what you're hiding. I'm not trying to hide anything from you guys. I really didn't know there were people on that train. It's just that I've seen guys dressed like that somewhere else. You're totally right. The Cunning Hairs and I are in big trouble this time. But we just wanted to save people. You never mentioned this before. That's because... Starting to get used to the ether concentration here. I wasn't feeling too good when we first got in. 
Hey, we might not have come across any strong ethereals yet, but the dead end butcher is around here somewhere, so stay on your toes. Especially Billy. You totally got carried away in that last battle. How many times have I told you not to make a ruckus? We need to get to the Red Fang Gang's base and finish this commission. Can't you be more like Nikomara? Fast and quiet? Even if the dead end butcher did come along, it might not even notice her at all. <laughs> What's I gotta say? We cat people have nine lives. That counts for something. Everyone wait. You see the railroad tracks on the side of the road? It's not just broken off here. A gaping hole has been clawed out. Oh, she's right! Looks like the dead end butcher has been here. We might come across it if we keep going. That's no good. Since there are signs of it here, let's find another way around. Nekomara, will you see if your carrot can suggest another way to the Red Fang Gang's base? Yeah, I can find another route, but the path we're on is the most direct. I know you're anxious to find your family heirloom, but this is no normal mission. Safety first, as they say. You sound like someone stepped on your tail. <laughs> Over there! I saw a little kid run past just now! Huh? What are you talking about? You know we're in the Dead End Hollow, right? There have been cases of small children entering the hollows by mistake. But the direction you're pointing, Nekomata, is the original route we were planning on taking. Hey! You think I'm just saying it to make you take that path? I really did see a kid! A little girl in a blue top with brown hair and a ponytail! Hmm, that's a pretty detailed description. Maybe she really did see her. Even if we believe you saw the child, are you suggesting we go save her first? I should remind you, this is not what we were commissioned to do. What's that supposed to mean? It's not part of the commission, so you'll just ignore a child lost in the hollow? <laughs> I knew you were boring. But cold-blooded, too? If you're worried about not getting paid, don't be. I'm not like you. I'll pay you extra for looking for the girl. <sighs> I didn't expect you to not be a bad person. Oh, uh, huh? Oh, that had me scared just now. When she pointed out the child, I really thought her next line was gonna be... Forget the kid! I want my family heirloom! <laughs> but this kitty's a kind employer. If you really are determined to save the girl, Nakamata, then I'll go with you. You don't need to use the commission fee as a bargaining chip. Epi! You should at least ask me when it comes to commission fees. <sighs> Guess it can't be helped. But I agree, we can't just leave a kid in a place like this. A kid's aptitude for ether is underdeveloped, and she can't save herself. Every minute spent in the hollow is dangerous, not to mention the dead end butcher is around here somewhere. Then <laughs> let's get going! Time and space change fast in the hollows! If we don't hurry, we'll never find her! What are you waiting for, Nikomata? Let's go! Uh, oh, coming! They really. Seem to be sincere. Uh, oh man, why am I thinking about this now? There are so many ethereals around. That kid really worries me. Luckily, I didn't see any signs of them on the way over. Still, hopefully we can find her and fast. Nice one, Billy.
disappeared in a flash. Uh, why is it always the cat that sees her? I know Thyrens have better vision than normal people, but my visual components are pretty good too. Hey, do you all think there are more and more claw marks around here? We've been coming across stronger ethereals too. Now that you mention it... We can't keep going like this. How can we save anyone when we're in danger ourselves? We need a plan. Nekomata, are you sure you saw her? Why is it every time you see her, we find nothing? The hollow changes so quickly. By the time we've gone over, things have already warped. It's not my fault. If we want to catch her... You guys just need to keep up! Negative. We don't have the physical advantages when it comes to running like you do. In our current situation, we should reserve our energy to escape if we encounter the dead-end butcher. Oh! What's that supposed to mean? You talk about saving people, but when the time comes, you can only think of yourselves. That's not true. Really? Then you mean you aren't confident in your abilities? I can't pretend I didn't hear that. If I get serious, even Billy using his fuel reserves can't beat me. I can't pretend I didn't hear that, Andy. No problem, then. We'll just run after the girl from now on. I'm more than happy to. What? Wait! Isn't anyone gonna ask my opinion? From the looks of it, we're already deep within the Dead End Hollow. I pooped! We've been riding for so long! You guys have pretty good stamina. Weren't you the one who said the only way to catch up with the kid was to run? Now you're the first to complain. Nonsense! I can still outrun you all! Okay, okay. Everyone just take a break. We'll keep looking in a minute. On second thought, this area is about to be demolished, so the residents should have been evacuated. How did a kid get in? Uh, um, well, maybe she got lost when her family was being evacuated. If it's like that movie, only a ghost would appear in such a place. Her sudden appearance was only to lead the rescuers into a deadly trap. Uh, th th there's no such thing as g g g ghosts and don't do movie promos at a time like this. Don't worry, if a ghost attacks, I'll protect everyone. Really, can you guys not say stuff like that? Right, I feel better now. Let's get going. Huh? Wait a sec, it's a kid, over there! Don't run, wait for us! Huh? Wait, that can't be right. There. Really is a kid in the dead end hollow. Hurry, faster! We gotta keep moving! The girl's just up ahead!
Let's clear him out! Nice one, Billy! Standing by. Okay, everything's fine. It must be scary being lost in a hollow all by yourself, right? Don't worry, I'm here now. What are you talking about, huh? Uh, uh, we saved you! Ugh. Saved me? I saved you! Why are you wandering around that monster's territory? If I hadn't led you here, you'd have walked right into it. Huh? What do you mean? If it weren't for you guys, I might have found the Hollow's exit back to New Eridu by now. I think I can hear something. Nekomata, considering the circumstances, don't you think we deserve a bonus? Nicole! I hear you! I've barely been sitting on you for a minute. Stop complaining. No, it's not that! Look in front of you! Huh? Isn't this Canvas Street? Then these people are... Wait... This is the blast zone. It was supposed to be cleared. Why are there so many people? How many are there? Over a hundred at least. Me and Envy only did a rough count of whoever was willing to come out and speak to us. There could be even more. I thought that Vision said they cleared everyone out days ago. They say they don't know what's going on. They haven't been able to contact anyone on the outside for a week. I'm guessing Vision has set up jamming devices. Yeah, so what is this? When exactly is Vision planning to evacuate everyone? Children, you must be coming from the city. Are you bringing any news? Excuse me, who are you? Oh, the little girl you just saved from the Hollow is my granddaughter. Thank you for rescuing her. She's always been naughty. She thinks she can sneak into the hollow safely just because she's got ether aptitude. Yesterday, because a public security officer wouldn't tell her the exact time, she came up with an idea to go to New Eridu and ask around. I took my eyes off of her for one second and she ran into the hollow. Um, excuse me, an officer? Did you say an officer came by? 
Yes, that's right. Yesterday my granddaughter and a few neighbors got tired of waiting and headed to ask Vision what was going on. But an officer stopped them before they got there. They said nobody could get through because explosives were being handled nearby. And once things were ready, a train would be coming for us. Most of us here are old, sick, and disabled. Other than my granddaughter, none of us have any aptitude for ether. So we can't go anywhere. We were told to wait. So that's all we can do. But it doesn't make sense. How can something as big as a mass evacuation of residents not be scheduled in advance? They just left everyone waiting for notice. And I haven't heard of public security being involved in the project before. Miss, you mean to say... That public security officer who stopped the residents is suspicious. Huh. There has to be more to it than this. I remember them saying Vision Corporation won the bid thanks to a much lower cost. I get it. The Metro Renovation Project is one of the most talked about in New Era Do. It's technically and financially demanding. And they still have to relocate the residents. But if Vision just dealt with the residents along with the demolition, that it'd save costs. So, what you're saying is, Vision has just abandoned us all here? Vision always wanted to perform well enough to enter tops, but I never thought they'd stoop so low for a seat at the table. No, we can't let Vision get away with this! Nicole, what do you plan to do now? Uh, I didn't expect this when I took on the commission. Fine, sure. We came into the Dead End Hollow looking for something, and yeah, saving a kid along the way is a good thing, but... Oh, a small, odd job agency can't take on a massive corporation. So, what do you two think? I'll do whatever you say, boss. But, Andy... I didn't expect to agree with Nekomata on this matter. I'm staying. I understand Nicole's thinking, but I can't follow this time. This is my chance. I won't make the same mistake again. Is that so? Going against a corporation? Andy, you really pulled at my heartstrings! They're the Vision Corporation! They may be big enough to join the Tops Alliance! Just think of the money we could squeeze out of them if we threaten to expose them! Quickly, Billy, Envy, go tell each of these gold nuggets... Uh, I mean, victims, that the Cunning Hairs are willing to represent them in their lawsuit for compensation! Don't just stand there! Get everyone to sign the authorization forms! Collect them one by one! And Nekomara, I know you're our client, but... I have something for you to do, too. Huh? Me? You want to save everyone, right? You know the area, and you're the most agile. Here, take my bangboo. I want you to take it someplace and get help. Okay, that's everything. Nicole told me they'd stay in the construction area collecting victim signatures and monitoring Vision's movements. My mission was to find faith in and get help. After leaving the others, I went back through the dead-end hollow and came straight to your store. Really, I'm not lying! Nicole and everyone else in the blast zone are in grave danger! Please, Faithen! You have to help me save them! We believe you, Nekomata. But as professional proxies, we have to warn you of the risks involved. Right. In saving all the residents, we'll inevitably come to blows with the Vision Corporation. Yeah. You don't need to tell me that! I made up my mind ever since I left! All I can think about now is getting everyone out of the blast zone! <sighs> okay. If the client has made up her mind, there's nothing more to say. Well then, let's work on a rescue plan. Take a look at this map. The Cunning Hares and the residents are trapped at the Canvas Street Station, which is several kilometers away from the surveillance point where Pearlman's located. But to keep the trapped residents in check, he's transported a number of armed mercenaries pretending to be public security by train. Speaking of which, the train that we delayed earlier is almost at its destination, so there'll be even more people to guard the residents. We're not strong enough to face them head on. 
But perhaps we can take advantage of holes in the enemy's defense. Yeah? What does that mean? Look, those trapped residents have no ether aptitude, so the mercenaries don't expect anyone coming from behind. With everyone guarding the front, the surveillance point should be relatively unguarded. That makes sense. We can go around behind them through the hollow and catch them off guard. Yeah, good idea! And then? Then, we quickly hijack the train at the surveillance point and go through the hollow to the Canvas Street station. As long as the residents get to the station platform in advance, we can have everyone out of the blast zone in minutes. How clever! The train itself has some resistance to corruption, so as long as we get them out of the hollow quickly, they will get affected! Yeah! Hey, Fairy, can you drive the train out of the hollow and into New Eridu as quickly as possible? Affirmative. I have already mapped out the shortest route. No time to waste. Let's get started, then. Nekomata, take this bang -boo. Go find Nicole and tell her the plan. Then... Right! Then, it's crunch time! <laughs>